بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah, God Almighty be upon all of you. Welcome to 99 Names and Attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, inshallah, we briefly explain name number 48, Al-Ba'ith. Al-Ba'ith means the Resurrector, the Awakener, the one who resurrects his slaves after death for reward and or punishment. How can you reject Allah? When you were dead, and then he gave you life. Then he will make you die, and then give you life again. And then you'll be, you will be returned to him. Surah Al-Baqarah, number 2, ayah number 28. All people who have or will ever live are mortal. Everyone dies and is buried. Despite this obvious fact, however, most people avoid thinking about death and their subsequent resurrection. The Qur'an describes this situation as follows. They will ask, Are we to be restored to how we were when we have become perished? Surah An-Naziyat 79, Ayah 10 and 11. The Qur'an provides the most explicit answer to this popular delusion by proclaiming, he makes likeness of us and forgets his own creation, asking, Who will give life to bones when they are decayed? Say, He who made them in the first place will bring them back to life. He has total knowledge of each created thing. Surah Yasin, number 36, ayat 78 and 79. As these verses indicate, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created humanity and granted different qualities to everyone. Indeed, down to his or her fingerprints, each person has unique characteristics. As our creator, he can recreate each person in the very same manner as many times as he wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala displays this coming resurrection each autumn when nature begins to die and then actually experience a type of death during winter. Yet, when spring comes, we see dry branches blossoming, nature being revived and becoming green all over. Furthermore, this resurrection has been happening without any interruption since time began. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, resurrecting each person is as easy as this. The parallel features of these two resurrections are stated in several verses as follows. He brings forth the living from the dead and the dead from the living, and brings earth to life after it was dead. In the same way, you too will be brought forth. Surah Rum, number 30, ayah number 19. So look at the effect of Allah's mercy, how he brings the dead earth back to life. Truly, he is the one who brings the dead to life. He has power over all things. Surah al rum number 30, ayah number 50, 5, 0. Another meaning of the beautiful name of al Ba'ath is sending out prophets. Allah sent messengers to warn their people and bring good news in order to call them to the right path. He revealed books to some of his messengers so that they could bring people out of the darkness of ignorance and into the light of true knowledge. No doubt, this is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his servants. In the Quran, Allah relates, Mankind was a single community. Then Allah sent out prophets bringing good news and giving warning. And with them, he sent down the book with truth to decide between people regarding their differences. Surah Al-Baqarah, number 2, ayah number 213. Allah showed great kindness to the believers when he sent a messenger to them from among themselves to recite his signs to them and to purify and teach them the book and wisdom. Even though before that, they were clearly misguided. Surah Al-Imran, number 3, ayah number 164. Until next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.